guys welcome back to my channel um, or if you're new here welcome to my channel um, I don't really know what this video is going to be or if I'm even gonna post it um, I kind of just want to vent um, which is just in a moment needing to vent and document what's going on I guess um, but the dishwasher is going and Zayla is eating lunch and watching a movie so or watching a TV show so hopefully those aren't too distracting um, I don't know I don't even know what this is so if you're following along on our trying to conceive journey um, I haven't even gotten into it I already want to cry um, we've been trying to conceive for over two years now and obviously haven't had any luck um, I have PCOS if you haven't seen any of our other videos um, I don't know if I should continue to go over like all of our stuff in every video or if I should just tell you to go watch the other ones <laughs> I don't know but um we did take a break in documenting for a year, so there um, is a whole year missing of our trying to conceive journey on the channel. But um, because of my PCOS, I have very irregular periods and um, I actually have been bleeding on and off for a while. like. A long time like months and months and months probably a year if not more um, I have been bleeding on and off so I continue to take pregnancy tests because I know like I've been told by a few people that sometimes you can still bleed or get somewhat of a period or something while you're pregnant like it can happen and because of everything being so irregular, I continue to test regardless, just in case. Because I was already over two months pregnant when I found out that Zayla, that I was pregnant with Zayla because I never tested and everything was so irregular. So I test just in case. But um, the past couple days, it has gotten worse. So, um... I was bleeding on and off and like that in it in itself like on and off I mean like a couple of hours out of a day I wouldn't bleed not like I'd go weeks without bleeding and start bleeding again no like I was bleeding every day for I don't know how long <laughs> I don't have my phone with me I'm not gonna go get it but a long time um and the past couple days, it has gotten, I don't even know, so, so much worse. I literally feel like I'm bleeding to death. And I'm so frustrated because I've been doing everything I can on my own to try to get my body regulated and stop bleeding because it's causing so many issues and so many problems and it's emotionally draining. It's just so frustrating when your body won't do what you want it to do. Sorry. <laughs> But to add on the, the already frustrated that I and sad that I was, on top of it, we're trying to conceive. And then on top of that, now I literally feel like I'm bleeding to death. And not only am I bleeding like an insane amount, like it literally, I'm sorry if you don't want to listen to this, just click off the video I guess um this is very TMI but literally every time I go to the bathroom which has to be every like five minutes or less um like no more than five minutes and I 
have to be in the bathroom. It's normally a couple minutes. But every time we go to the bathroom, it's like a freaking crime scene. And it is freaking terrible. And so I was dealing with that for like a day. And then um, it got even worse which I didn't think was possible, and I started passing clots. Like, I had a bleeding issue and passing clots right before I, like a few months before I got pregnant with Zayla, and um, this is worse than that. Um, I am passing clots bigger than I ever have before. Like, they are literally, like, <laughs> this is so TMI, so if you do not wanna hear this, please click off this video but I they are literally as big as the palm of my hand they are freaking huge and they hurt so bad to pass and um I literally am sore from it like I like if you had a baby and have given birth you know what your a lady parts feels like and how like sore and raw it is um that's how it feels like that's how big they are and i am passing one like every five minutes um every probably like one to five minute <laughs> one to five minutes um like literally i will go to the bathroom take care of business clean up wash my hands and by the time i get back out here to sit down I'm already passing another one, so. <laughs> Anyways, so I'll just stop talking about that because it's probably too much information and nobody probably cares, but I'm just, I just need a bit because I'm so over it and so irritated. So I stopped taking my medication, the Ovastol or whatever it is because I was on it for over a month and nothing changed. It never stopped my period. Like I could have, I could have went on it longer but my bleeding is just getting worse and so like maybe it's not for everybody, I don't know. So I stopped taking it and I called, um, I got, we have insurance now and I called and set up an appointment with an OBGYN. So I actually have an appointment on Friday to be seen. Um, I'm assuming that they're gonna put me on birth control to try to regulate everything because that is what they did last time I had a bleeding issue. I went on birth control for three months and it did stop my bleeding. And so, I'm honestly excited for the appointment, even though we are trying to conceive. Um, I just want to stop bleeding. Like, that's all I want. I'm so over it. So, I'll most likely be put on birth control here soon. And hopefully it works. And hopefully I'll stop bleeding and I can go back to being normal. I haven't been normal in so long. What even is this video? I don't know. I'm sorry for this rant, but I just want to be real and raw and honest with our journey and what's going on because it is not easy and we're struggling and if I'm documenting my journey to let other people know that they're not alone in their struggles with trying to conceive and PCOS and everything like that, like I want, I can't hide the bad because that defeats the whole purpose, if that makes sense. So I just want people to know that they're not alone if they find this and they're going through something similar. I know how you feel, and it freaking sucks. But, I have something in my eye. But that's it. Um, <laughs> that's all I have to say. So today is Wednesday. 
and my appointment is on Friday morning. So, um, I may post an update from the appointment on Saturday just so you guys can be in the know of what's going on faster. Um, or I might include it in Monday's video. I'm not 100% sure. I guess we'll see how the appointment goes. And if you have a preference, if you watch this all the way to the end, um, go ahead and just comment below when you would prefer the update. Um, a video on Saturday that's out of our upload schedule or just go ahead and include it in Monday's video. But thanks for watching.